I'm going to do a demonstration for you here. And so I'm going to take this $20 bill that I've got. $20. By the way, who's on the $20 bill? What? Wait, what? What was Andrew it? Jackson. Andrew uh, Jackson. That's correct. Although it's going to change here, I guess, shortly. Okay. So I've got a $20 bill. Nice, crisp $20 bill, right? All right, and I'm going to come over here. Mary Streeter, will you verify? Is that really a $20 bill? Feels like one. All right, let's ask Annika, is that a real $20 bill? Okay. All right. So, again, we're working with the real stuff. Now, I'm a trained professional, so please don't do this at home, okay? <laughs> but what I'm going to do is I'm going to crumple up this $20 bill. Yeah, this is sad, okay? And so I've squeezed Andrew Jackson so much here, you can't recognize him. That is now what was my $20 bill, okay? So very carefully, I'm going to undo it. I don't want to rip it though, but all right, this is really messed up. Oh, it was so nice and new before. Okay, now how much does it work? Twenty dollars. It's twenty dollars. Okay. Now I'm gonna drop it on the floor. Again, please don't do this at home. I'm a trained professional. All right. Stomping him. He is just oh, taking the abuse. All right. Now how much does it work? $20. It's still $20. I could take it to the bank and exchange it for a nice, new, crisp $20 bill, right? Don't get Yes, yeah, right. This is just for demonstration purposes. So what am I trying to say? Is this $20 bill, no matter what I do, as long as I don't rip it apart, as long as it stays together, even though it's all beat up, it's still worth $20, right? Now, who guarantees it's worth $20? How do you know it's really twenty dollars? It says so. Yeah. Can I just write on another piece of paper and put twenty dollars on it? No, it has to. It was like made specially. Yeah, like it has to material. 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 Okay, it's guaranteed by its maker, right? Who made this? Mint. The mint, the yeah. U.S. government, right? So the U.S. government guarantees we're twenty dollars. They got gold in Fort Knox, right, to back it up, right, so that we all know it's worth twenty dollars. But this bill is not unique. It's replaceable, so it's only worth $20, right? Whatever the value that it's guaranteed for. All right, so now let me ask you another question. How much is the moon worth? The moon isn't worth anything. Oh, it's worthless, it's priceless. okay? Okay, now we've got a disagreement, all right? Okay, don't tip, though, all right? Now, so who's right? Both of other nature is. <laughs> <laughs> Well, you said it's worthless, you said it's priceless. How can the moon be worthless? I know, we spent because millions of dollars going, going to the moon, that would seem funny. No, because without the moon, no one owns you can't, it. You can't, like, rent the moon. Okay, so now let, we're getting to it. The moon is unique. There's only one moon. There's tons of $20 bills, right? There's only one moon. It's unique. And can you replace the moon? No, no. that's why it's so, priceless. That's right, so no one can buy it, Trump can't buy it, no one can own the moon. So by definition, it's priceless, right? It's unique and can't be replaced, so the moon is priceless. Now, Mel may not care about the moon, but it's still, it's priceless, right? Right, because it's not any use to you at the moment, right? At the moment. At the moment, right, so you might find that you like it. Okay, so now let me take one more step in this thinking, all right? Now we're gonna ask the question, how much are you worth? I'm not. Priceless. You're priceless, really? No one can buy us. Yeah, it's really? priceless because we can't be well, bought. Well, people can adopt You shouldn't But that doesn't children. count because you can't, like, I'm going to pay, like. It's like we maintain our values. Everyone mm, has a different value. Everyone like has a different value for you. And every person is different. But we don't have money. Okay, so. Now, when we do this exercise with younger kids, you know what I often hear? The kids, like, they'll go, I'm worth a thousand dollars, right? They think that's like a lot of money, right? And then we say, that would be a bargain, right? And then they step it up. Then they go, like, I'm worth a million, billion, trillion dollars, right? And I still say, that would be a bargain, right? Because by definition, you're unique, right? There's no one with your DNA, with your combination of talents and skills and abilities and so on, you are unique and can't be replaced, right? So by definition, you are priceless. But do we always feel priceless? No. 
Because sometimes when people try to crumple you up, when people step on you, like bullies, right? People tell you you're not worth anything. Sometimes we buy into that, right? We don't think that we're priceless. We don't treat ourselves as priceless. We don't demand that other people respect us as priceless. Is that true? Yeah. Right? So today, starting today, we're going to change all that, right? Because you're going to be empowered with the truth, and the truth will set you free, right? You are priceless, right? I'm priceless. So what do you do with something that's priceless? Take it for granted. You take care of it, right? You if you have something really <laughs> valuable, you take care of it, right? Not, you don't right? Take this you thing guard it. You protect it, right? Well, if you had a million dollars, you would spend it, so you would give it away, so you're not really taking care of it. Well, but if you had a million dollars, you would protect it until you decide what to do with it, right? So if you're priceless, why do your parents take care of you so much? Because they love you. Right, because they know yeah. you're priceless, right? So they want to take good care of you, right? They don't want anything bad to happen to you. The connotation of priceless sounds so bad. <laughs> but here, it's important to know the truth, right? You are priceless. You need to know you're priceless. You need to ask other people to treat you like you're priceless. Now, as ladies, you know that sometimes guys don't always treat you like you're priceless, right? You have to insist to them that you demand to be treated priceless. That's right. Now, I'm, as I'm a father, you know, for my daughter, Jenny, I made sure that all the boyfriends that came around to suit my daughter, right, treated her like she was priceless because they had to deal with me. I was showing them how valuable she was. So when her boyfriends would come over to our house, you know what I would do? I had projects and stuff. I'd say, hey, you want to go up on the roof and help me? I'm doing some repair of the roof. And if they were kind of serious about my, my daughter, right, they'd come up on the roof and I'd get to know them. I'd see their character. They had a good work ethic and stuff. But the kids that didn't have good character, they said, oh, uh, uh, no, Mr. Kane, I'm kind of busy right now. And so we knew those were kind of the losers, right? So we could kind of sort them out a little bit, right? But I was there to show those men, those young men, that my daughter was priceless because someone was looking out for her, right? So hopefully you've got that kind of same kind of thing. Someone's looking out to remind you and remind other people you're priceless. But if you don't, as you grow up, you're going to have to be the one to do that, right? I really you're going to. <laughs> you're going to have to stand up for yourself, right? So hopefully you, you're you learning this principle that you're priceless. My mom said her boyfriend, my grandpa has like a really deep voice and he, he sounds kind of scary. So like he talks to the guy on the phone and he said, my, the guy was like really big, my mom's boyfriend, really like, my grandpa's really small. But he sounds really scary, so the guy was really scared of him. Yeah. Well, sometimes people need a little bit of fear to recognize the truth. So my wife, Debbie, right? How much is she worth? Priceless. She's priceless. So my job is to make sure she feels priceless every day. That's my job as her husband, right? So what do I do? Well, Debbie likes to have foot rubs. And she has sometimes a hard time sleeping at night. So I give her a foot rub and a back rub every night to help her relax so she can sleep. And what does that remind her? Every day when I do that, if I'm tired, am I exhausted, she still gets her back rub and her foot rub, right? It reminds her that she's priceless, right? That I recognize her value, that I'm not taking her for granted, right? Now, Debbie also likes flowers, right? So what do I do? You go buy her flowers. All right, I can't do it every day because then it would kind of be expected. So I surprise her, even when it's not an anniversary or birthday or Valentine's Day, I'll surprise her with flowers, right? And so when I walk in and she's, I can tell like she's having a bad week or something, I'll go get her flowers and I'll bring them home and surprise her with it. And she all of a sudden just perks up, right? Because it makes her feel priceless, right? That someone values her. It's not based on her performance, right? It's not conditional love that she has to earn it. She gets it unconditionally, right? That's what makes people feel priceless, right? And when we take time with people, it makes them feel priceless, right? Because they must be worth something for you to take time with them, right? So I want you girls to recognize that you're priceless. You need to think of yourself as priceless, and you need to expect other people to treat you as priceless, right? So what we're going to do is we're going to do an exercise to make sure that your brain gets this ingrained in it, right? We're going to drill this in. So I'm going to come around and I'm going to ask you the question, how much you worth? 
And if you give me the correct answer, the P word, then you get a character GPS wristband. Now these not are available in any store, okay? You cannot buy them, only here, okay? So, Mel, how much are you worth? You are, right? Take what color would you like? There you go, great, how much are you worth? Priceless. You are, go ahead and take one. You're welcome. Lily, how much are you worth? I am priceless. There you go. Take that's good, all right. <laughs> Mariana, how much are you worth? Priceless. You are, take your favorite color. Again. <laughs> Everyone's picking blue. Oh, there you go. Okay. There we go. All right. Ariella, how much you worth? Aurelia. Aurelia. It's Thank okay. You. It's okay. Aurelia. I'm priceless. You are. That's the truth. That's right. All right, Mary, how much you worth? I'm priceless. You are. Annika, how much you worth? Priceless. You are. I'm going to come over here and I'll get you. Mary Streeter, how much you worth? Priceless. You are. Okay. Now, <laughs> Annika, take that up.